big fan of it. And I would literally like to see myself working four days a week and making sure I get paid exactly what I'm paid right now or even more. I have a lot of hobbies and I know what to do with my time and money. So, but I want to draw your attention to one thing, which I think is not discussed during four day working week, four days, four days working week, and which could cause potential uh, problems. The reason I can see problems is focus on productivity. So the idea current one is we work 100%. We get, we get paid 100%. But we work only 80% of the time. And we keep 100% productivity. And I am not really sure if there are all, if all jobs currently on the market can follow this uh, this idea it's just simply not not physically impossible without breaking uh, safety standards without breaking current law like speed limits to keep 100 productivity to work and work only 4 days a week instead of 5 days and this idea actually is a little bit is kind of disguised in whatever I see, e, for example, in South Campshire uh, Council, they actually are going to introduce uh, introduce four days working week initially for the office workers. And then as well, if successful, they are going to grant it as well to the other groups of workers, like, for example, uh, bin collectors and possibly, I don't know, nurses, um, people, people working in, I don't know, healthcare. That's what I, what I see. So yeah, what I say, if successful for the group which was initially introduced, that mean office workers and so on, the program and uh, the pl project will be extended to the others. I see the different conversation in Glasgow where they going, I think straight away, but they have a small idea. You cannot cut in home care hours uh without introducing extra 20 percent of the staff there was exactly the same argument said by uh south campshire uh council is it south campshire or just simply it's campshire south campshire and the reason for this is because the right wing is already picking on us on this four days working green week saying that taxpayers will pay for that so my warning for the future is whenever we discuss four days working week we cannot always promise it will lower the costs uh, or keep the current cost when we introduce the program what i want to say if there are groups which are able to work four days a week, four days a week, yes, and keep 100% productivity, and that would be kind of unfair to other kind of groups. So introduction, introduction of this program for one category of workers, office workers, who often right now work, for example, 37.5 hours and are decently paid or 35 hours. So shortening this week to 30 hours and not granting this one for bin workers, nurses, care, home care or child care workers or nursery care workers would be impossible. I want to give you an example. So, for example, if you have a 
bin collector, as we say, refuse collector, um, it is impossible to break a speed limit with your car to work, to go faster, to keep the same productivity during driving. And then you have to keep the same productivity during making the bins empty. So you just simply put additional you expect to the, those people who empty our bins to be extra efficient, work very fast, empty our bins even faster. It's without automatization and mechanization on some exercises, it's impossible. So if our goal is to shorten the week to ensure that some kind of exercises and practices in workplace are automatized. Yes, that is our path. But it's just simply if you want to promise the result of the same cost, the same productivity, without any... <sighs> yeah, well, if we want to shorter the time and keep the salary, it doesn't... It's impossible for some kind of group of the workers without, uh, yeah, less work performed by this kind of group. That will be the same, for example, in healthcare sector. So I can imagine there are some kind of groups within a health sector, NHS, when you can introduce it and speed up the limits and accelerate it and make it more efficient. But as well, I imagine it should be possible only with some kind of mechanization. But there are exercises you cannot do it. And I give you an example here. Like I used to donate blood and I know I cannot speed up time too much when my blood is taken uh, to be used later because that will cause the harm for me as a donor and will cause the harm for the worker who has, a, for example, to clean, resuscitate me, uh, keep extra, make extra work with, for example, me when the veins are popping up, whatever. This is the work related, for example, to dialysis when you are in car sector. You cannot... I cannot imagine how you can speed up with the current technology dialysis. It's almost impossible. Um, uh, there is a education problem. In the education sector, there is a problem. We, we intend to teach our kids within particle hours. I cannot imagine that we can... It's even illogically to expect for the teachers to be equally efficient during working four days working time, and fair four days working week, uh, because there is a capacity of children to to acquire the knowledge. This is the problem in uh, nursing homes, the health, uh, care sector, like for example, with the nurses, uh, the carers in elderly people nurseries. Without mechanization, automatization, particle work, for example, equipping them with the tools like lifting tools, which, which are not available all the time in all care homes. I know because I volunteered for some time in one. So without that, you cannot, you cannot speed up and or at least expect that these people will keep the same productivity with the same salary, within shorter time, uh, working time. So I just want to warn about this bottlenecks within the idea around four days working week. And I would really encourage rather to force, yes, there are groups that are able to do it. But once we introduce it for those groups, this is a kind of social justice project. Project. This is a kind of social trust project that we it would be unjust to not extend the same kind of working condition for others one, other other groups of workers. Otherwise, we will have a big troubles. So I would like to leave you with this idea. Let me know what do you think. 
And yeah, catch up soon. Take care.